What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back for episode three of the Diamond Heights Let's Play series. Um, in the last episode, we built a few rides, got some litter bins taken care of, and today I wanted to um, build a wooden roller coaster because that's what we got uh, researched in the last episode, and we really need to get going on some roller coaster designs here. So we'll start with a wooden one, and... Um, yeah, let's find a good spot for this. I'm gonna save the lake probably for the next roller coaster or one in the future. This seems to be a pretty decent spot here. We've got some space, lots of trees, um, and, and things shouldn't be getting in the way too much here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and build a roller coaster, and uh, we'll start out with a little drop into our chain lift here and then we'll be on our way okay it's gonna be a little different building now in a, a park like this because you know we did the we just got done with the million dollar mission and so much of that park was so flat and this is kind of the opposite right so it's all over the place which I guess is more realistic, right? And it looks nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have kind of a crazy roller coaster design here. You do see I'm doing lots of twists and turns in this uh, this wooden roller coaster right here. So, but it's always fun. Try to put a block break section in right there, but I decide to just nix that idea I'll probably just finish up the roller coaster. It's honestly, um, it's it looks like it's really big, but really, it, the height isn't as much as it seems. I know it's at a hundred feet, but it already started out at like fifty, <laughs> so it's not as high as it seems. So we'll have to wrap it up here pretty soon. So we'll bring it down to here. Do one more. Hill right here into a turn. And yeah, this is where we'll try to wrap things up here. This is a pretty good way to end it. And block breaks. And there we go. Let's uh let's put our entrance and exit. Um I do want to adjust the Chain lift hill. Let's make it seven miles per hour. So we've only got two trains. So here we go. Let's let it test here. You got this made twists and turns. You really got to make sure that the roller coaster makes it all the way through the track because sometimes it doesn't. So just keep an eye out for that. And there we go. All right, I made it just fine. Let's uh, wait for a second here to find out what our excitement rating is. Seven point zero nine. So. That's pretty good. Um, we'll put in some. Let's put in our track. Not our track, our, our state art. I always forget uh, the name, and, and I don't know why. It's just it's just a pathway. But for some reason, I feel like every single time I record, I forget how to say pathway. All right, let's put in the exit path here. Did have to make a couple little land adjustments right here because it just wasn't working out. There we go. All right, so that's up and running. Um, notice I didn't name the wooden roller coaster. Guys, if you got some name suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Um, 
I think I want to name it after a phobia. So if you guys have any, you know, I, I want to follow that theme that Diamond Heights has of the phobias. Um, claustrophobia, agoraphobia, arachnophobia. I think those are some of the rides. So give me some good phobia names and also let me know what the phobias mean. And yeah, I think that'll be... Uh, I think that'll be cool. So, all right, I'm gonna do a couple maintenance things here. I wanted to hire another mechanic since the other two guys are restricted in where they can actually walk. And we did just get a Ferris wheel research, so I wanted to put a Ferris wheel in. We have a maze coming on August 1st, it says. So we might put one of those in the next episode, I don't know. Alright, so... Let's find a good spot for this Ferris wheel. Somewhere where it's not taking a lot, a lot of space up. And I keep, I keep trying to put rides into this little space right here. And I almost thought the Ferris wheel was going to work for a second. But I just... I just didn't like the way it was turning out um, and the spacing of it. So let's put it somewhere over here. I don't really want to dig into the side of the mountain for something as cheap as a Ferris wheel. So we'll probably put it right here. It takes up minimal space of the lake, so it shouldn't get in the way of any roller coasters I try to build. So there we go. Got a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel out of the way here. So now we've got two new rides, which is nice. Um, just want to see if that roller coaster affected the Indiana Jane Railroad or not, but it doesn't look like it did. But yeah, we got some guests starting to funnel into that. Um, I think, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did a bunch of marketing campaigns, so hopefully that gets some more guests in the park. We're at 870. I think at the beginning of the episode, we were like 750, so that's already helped quite a bit. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of pathways to fill up with guests in this park, so hopefully we're able to start doing that uh, pretty quick here. And right at the end, I just wanted to change the colors of the ferris wheel here so this is what I end up going with alright guys um, again give me some names for the roller coaster and hopefully in the next episode we'll get some more roller coasters researched or something exciting to build researched but yeah we'll slowly start moving toward that three hundred thousand dollar park goal we're almost at the end of year one already. Um, these Let's Plays are pretty short, so... <laughs> a lot shorter than the Million Dollar Mission series, that's that's for sure. But, um... Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Leave me a like if you liked this episode. Uh, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.